He's got it to that one-on-one -on -one in open space for the closing speed. And the spoil by Brad Shepard saves the day. Good grab Shepard, drifting across the front. Great grab Shepard. He's a tough man to outmark. Good grab from Shepard. Shepard, the defender, creeping forward, ignores Kennedy, strolls to 35, huge kick, and Brad Shepard drills it. Shep's first couple of years, he uh, got chucked around in a few different positions, started half forward, was on the wing, didn't really have a settled position until uh, about three or four years in, decided half back was his spot. From there, he's always able to provide a lot of run, carry for us, but his ability to play on both talls and smalls, he plays on the real dangerous smalls, but has the ability to play on talls as well, is probably what sets him apart from a lot of others uh, from his size. One-on-one -on -one now, a well-played Shepherd. Yeah, to see him cement himself there at half-back and, and play on some of those little key four, uh, those little small forwards that are pretty lively down there, um, he's done a really good job, so to get to 150 is a big effort. He really gets beaten in one-on-one -on -one contests down back. Um, he's got some good pace and got some good skills, and that's what's required to be a good footballer, but he just understands the men mentality now of what, what you need to do to be able to be a good player and be part of a good team. So I've been pretty, well, pretty proud and really happy with the way he's gone about it because he's taken control of what you know, his life is and how he wants to do his, do his football, and that's what you need to be able to do. Opened up the angle. Did he get enough on it? You bet he did. Shep got drafted as a skinny, hard-running defender. Um, still a skinny, hard-running defender. Works very hard off the field, both his skills. He's in the gym a lot. Not sure how much that's shown. But he's a terrific bloke to play with. He's uh, got courage in spades. He backs back into packs every week. Just a, a really good guy to play with. And he's you know, a strong leader on the field. He's always got a smile on his face and, and always happy to get, get around you and get you included. And he's he's um, very... Uh, humorous in his goofy sort of way, so he's great to have have around the side. He's one of a kind, Shep. We all love him around the club, and um, yeah, 150 is a great achievement. He's always that that first bloke probably picked on the team. Um, you always know what you're going to get from him, so he's been unreal for for me coming into the club, and and I'm sure he will be for for boys coming through. We're the same age um, at the club, and been uh, mates since sort of under age football, and it's sort of crept up. 150 games, it's a big achievement, life member of the club, so deserves everything he gets. He works pretty hard. He cops it from the boys off field for his looks. He likes to look after himself, so he definitely cops his fair share, but um, it's a pretty big achievement, I think, to get to 150. He's one of those types of players that comes in wearing an A kit every day, hair's looking real good. I reckon he probably gets it touched up a little bit here and there if it's not looking um, the best in terms of peroxide, so. Definitely a, uh, a very vain type of person, spends most of his time in the mirror. It's a great achievement for him, making 150 games, life member, um, from a scrawny little pretty boy. No, he's done really well, so um, I'm, I'm stoked for him. Yeah, I'm very, very proud of him. He's obviously, he's really found his, his niche as a small defender and his ability to play on Robbie Gray, uh, Toby Green and those guys is, is why he's so underrated. He's one of our most reliable defenders now, so 150 games and I'm sure he's got plenty more left in him. Thank you.